Hello crafty friends, working in my scrappy art journal today. I found these beautiful napkins in a party shop a few weeks ago. I love the butterfly and I love the colours and I really want to use it in today's project. I also have these beautiful floral washi tapes and I'm going to somehow incorporate those two in the page. I'm going to start by preparing my background. The left hand side page is pretty plain so I can leave that as is but on the right hand side the colours don't really match with what I'm doing so I want to cover that up with some collage. Whatever I put down is going to shine through underneath the butterfly and flowers that I put down. So I want something that will suit the project so I'm just using text from a book and I'm ripping up the page into strips and putting it just randomly on the page it's not going to be matching up some text will be going one way and some the other way of course you don't need to be able to read it it's just what's going to shine through to give dimension to your page I'm applying this with Mod Podge you could also use craft glue or gel medium or even a glue stick Although this is going to all be in the background, I want there to be balance. I'm going to apply a couple of pieces also on the left page, just to help the pages connect. I also have this beautiful leaf napkin that I'm going to use as part of the background. Because we're using flowers and botanicals, really the base needs to be maybe some green or some leaves, and I think this napkin will work well. I'm only going to apply it on the one part of the page, not all the way across mainly on the part where the butterfly is not going to be. Again, I'm applying this with Mod Podge. I'm also applying a layer of Mod Podge over the napkin just to make it a little bit stronger so it doesn't tear easily if I add any paint mediums on top. After drying the Mod Podge, I'm going to trim off the excess. You could leave some overhang if you like, or you can trim it as close to the page as you like. The next step is applying white gesso. I'm going to apply this with a flat paintbrush. I'm going to apply mainly over the entire page, but with different intensities. I want lighter and darker areas. I don't want to cover the entire thing where it's just white and you can't see the underneath. So it's important to make a thin layer. You can also dip your paintbrush in some water in between applications to thin out the gesso. As you can see on the page on the right, you can still see the text shining through. And then I blend it lighter and lighter as I go up onto the green part of the leaves. On the left hand side, I'm doing the same. I want the leaves to shine through, but I don't want them so bold. They need to be pushed into the background and this light gesso will help that. I've mainly concentrated the gesso along the edge of the page. That's where I'm going to apply my flowers and I've left the green a bit bolder going to the center of the page. I'm now cutting my butterfly out to be able to apply that to my page. I'm not going right on the edge of the butterfly because the rest of the napkin is a very light, just off-white color, which will blend really well with my background and the gesso. You'll notice I have cut off the antenna. That's because it's just too finicky to try and cut that on a napkin. I can redraw those on at the end. When working with napkins like this, don't forget to remove just the top layer when using it in your art journal to give it a nice transparent look. Some napkins have got up to three layers, some maybe even four. The ones I used have two layers, so I just remove the bottom layer. Pasting my beautiful butterfly down onto the right hand side at an angle, again using Mod Podge. Once everything is nice and dry, I'm going to start applying my flowers. I have these beautiful flowers that are on a transparent background. These are a washi tape of sorts from the washi tape shop. I'll have a link to the washi tape shop in the description box below and there's a 10% discount for your purchase if you use my code, also in the description box. 
Now you don't need to fussy cut it all the way around, that's just way too intricate, just generally in sort of around the flowers and the leaves and then I'm going to stick that down. I've got two different ones, they're pretty large, I'm going to let them overlap slightly but I want the whole left side just to be full of botanicals, mainly from the edge of the page coming in. and then trimming off the excess. Now these specific stickers or washi tape does have a bit of a shine to it, which I personally don't really like, well, specifically for this project. So I'm going to try and mute that shine down by using a very, very thin layer of gesso. You're still gonna be able to see the flowers very clearly, but it's gonna drop that shine and make everything matte. I then have these other washi tape top flowers. These I got from Kmart here in Australia. Now they like a washi tape feel, but each flower is individual, which I really like. And they've got a bit of a muted tone. There's a few in there that suit my project, so I'm going to use them. You just peel it off. And this one I really like. I'm going to just cut it in half and put half at the top and half on the side. As I add more flowers, it sort of adds layers. I've got the green leaves and I've got the washi tape transparent stickers. Now I've got these. It adds some dimension and gives it depth. I also need to add some to the right hand side near the butterfly to balance everything out. Otherwise, if it's just on the left, it's going to be very left heavy. Now the smaller roll is just petals. They're like bright pink petals, which I really love. I love the color. I think it suits this really well. So I'm going to add one or two here and there. It gives it a very pretty feel. Now I want to make a connection between both of my pages. So I'm going to add some of the petals in between the butterfly and the floral border. I usually tend to add a sentiment sticker in most of my art journaling pages. For this one I don't and I actually wonder if it needed one. Watch until the end and tell me if you think I should have added some kind of a sentiment sticker. I also want to use some of these botanicals, which are rub-on stickers. These are from Topology. I'll also have a link for that in the description box below. Also with a discount if you use my code. And these, I'm going to use a few of the leaves just to add a little bit more of greenness to the top layer. And I'm just going to cut out the ones I want and then use my little popsicle stick to rub those on. Of course, you don't have to use stickers or washi tapes for this. You could use cutouts from a magazine. You could also hand draw them if you like or do some watercolor flowers, whatever you prefer doing. Same with a butterfly. You could hand draw one if you have or if you find something in a magazine or maybe if you have a rubber stamp. I just had the napkins and washi tapes and wanted to put them to use. I want to fill this little gap with something. I have a few leaves in a sticker format. I'm just going to stick those down. And at this point, I thought I was done. But then I realized I'd forgotten to put in my butterfly's antenna. So I'm just taking a black fine liner pen and I'm going to draw this in. Whoops, this petal is in the way. I'm just going to lift it. Lift it. Thankfully, it's like a washi tape, so it lifts very easily. And I'll stick it down elsewhere. Let me show you a close-up of the project so you can see all the details and the layers. I really hope you enjoyed watching this project and I hope you were inspired to create your own. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe 
Happy creating and I'll see you again soon. Bye.